All right, so I want to show you what's been going on lately here at Kincaid's Nursery. You guys have seen this area before. There's the trusty old backhoe. My wife and I came out yesterday. It's January, actually uh, January 31st today. We came out here yesterday and lined out the area in the garden where we're going to put the garden beds and all of our blueberries. All right, guys, so what did you guys think of that? Isn't that really cool? So we've got all of our blueberries along here, rows of two rows of them. We've got 16 total varieties of blueberries here every single one of these is a different variety and they're all pollinating each other and then we've got all these red raspberries that we've been growing that came originally from my wife's mother and we used to go over to her place and pick them now we've got them here at our place a 50 foot row of them and we're getting tons of red raspberries and canning them every year we've been doing this so let's go take a look at these guys come on check it out come on come on Look at this, we come out here every day and we're just picking. Now these are getting kind of towards the end of the harvest here, but still tons of them. They just keep producing over and over again. I come out here every day and I just pick these guys, just pick loads of them and just eat them guys. It's so good and juicy. I know a lot of you out there are into the food forest thing, but I just love the feng shui effect of having everything in order, neatly in its place, and it's working out beautifully. And the fact that we started this thing off with all the wood chips and all the cow manure, and I'm talking a foot total of all that stuff, is just making it so much better. All this soil is breaking down, feeding all these plants. We rarely have to water out here in this garden. Let's go take a look at some of these blueberries, guys. Look at these. Look at all these producing loads. I mean, look at this. These guys are just starting to come on all these different varieties. Just starting to come on all these blueberries. But if you come over here, we've got all kinds of, I think this is a Chandler. Look at that, Chandler blueberry. Big, huge blueberries. And these guys, a lot of these are starting to ripen. And that's a, that guy's a little overripe. But I've been coming out here and just picking these big blueberries here and just eating them. And they are so good and juicy and delicious and good for you. I just love this. We have wanted an orchard for so long of our own and we're finally starting to get this thing to just produce for us and all this fruit is just coming on stronger every year and it's just so fantastic, guys. Look at this. Zoom in here, Shelly, check that out. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous, guys? Tons and tons of produce. Every day it just comes on. All right, guys, so these are all of our espalier fruit trees that we started. We've got three apple and three pear. Now, the pear, for some reason this year, just aren't producing. Last year, we got a bunch of pear, but not this year. I just, some years, it just doesn't happen. But we've got tons of apples and all that pruning we did last year. And if you guys remember, I put a video up about pruning these guys in the summertime for fruit production. Pruning in the summer creates fruit spurs. Pruning in the winter is for the architecture of the tree. We did that in the winter. Now, summertime's here, I need to prune again. These things are getting out of control. But because we did all that pruning, and I'll put a link up in the corner, wherever it is, to the summertime and the wintertime pruning. But, and go check those videos out, guys. But because we did that pruning last summer, we created tons of fruit spurs. And we've got, I mean, this thing is loaded. This entire row is loaded with fruit. Look at all of this. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I mean, there's just in that little area, there's no end to the apples. Look at this. Follow along here, hun. Check it out. Check it out. Look at all that. All these apples, man. I'm just absolutely amazed at how much fruit you can produce in such a small area. This one's yellow delicious. Look at all those, all those apples created because of that summertime pruning we did. And now because we're doing this espalier style, it keeps the tree small, but the roots grow bigger and bigger every year and are able to provide tons of nutrition to produce all of this fruit in a small area. And it's all in an easily manageable height. So guys, I just want to give you an idea. So I'm 5'10", and if you look at me standing next to this, I've got this about a four foot height here, and it's easy. I can just reach right up, grab the fruit. You don't have to be climbing. You don't have to be using ladders or nothing like that. Now I'm going to come back and prune all this again. It's starting to get heavy, so you've got to have a wire along here, and I'm probably going to have to tighten that this year. But as this branch grows more and more thick every year, it's going to become one solid piece that you're not going to have to worry about. It's just going to become a solid branch, a solid scaffolding, and it's going to hold up just fine on its own. But all the fruit is right there. Now this, guys, is my wife's obsession, strawberries. We planted a huge area. I think this is eight foot by like, I don't know, 12 or 14 feet. Heck, 
maybe even bigger, of nothing but tri-star strawberries. Now in the beginning, the first year, we were worried they'd be a little too small. They are a smaller strawberry, but they get bigger as the summer comes on. And the cool thing is they produce all summer long, guys, and she can can strawberries all summer long. So we're getting tons of jam for our kids. And these things are just awesome. We come out here every day and we just pick them right off the vine and the, just the flowers come on and the berries come on endlessly throughout the entire summer. I absolutely love this strawberry patch. All right, guys, and the last thing that I've never shown you is my grapes. So we actually planted these a couple of years ago. I never knew you could grow grapes well in this area, but it turns out they grow fantastic. So come, come in and check these out, guys. We've got tons and tons of grapes. Look at this, just little bunches of grapes forming all along these little stalks here. This is our uh, flame red grape, and then and we've got a Romali white seedless. Both of the varieties are seedless, and they're just growing like crazy. Look at the white one here, guys. Tons and tons of grapes forming. We're only July 20th today, so we got a long ways to go here, but they're all forming like crazy. So I'm really just excited about the production of these guys. Look at how much these guys are producing. It's like every foot I've got tons of grapes coming on. Check this out. Look at this, Shelly. We've got grapes down here, all down in the plant. We've got grapes up top, all along the edges here. Look at these guys. And they're just developing really, really nicely. Look at this all throughout here. Tons and tons of grapes. And the, I mean, this thing just goes on and on. And everywhere, we've got massive amounts of grapes. It's in an area where we've got the sun. Right now, this thing is shooting straight north and south. So it's in an area where the sun comes over. It's getting it on the east side and the west side. And this thing, they need lots of heat. They need lots of sun. It's in just the perfect spot for that. So I'm hoping for some big, big crops of grapes here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I absolutely love this little orchard. I've always wanted my own orchard and now we've got it. I've got plans for more stuff to get planted along the fence line. We've got some cherry trees we've picked up. I want to espalier those against the fence line. We've got some fuzzy kiwis, all kinds of different stuff. And we're just going to fill this area in with tons and tons of produce. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic what you guys can grow on your property in such a small space. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see more fantastic gardening videos. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.